I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test paper of my student Amandeep. Let me first congratulate him for doing excellent job in his test paper. Here is the very first question which we are going to discuss. The question here is, a sinusoidal function has amplitude of 3 units, a period of 720 degrees and maximum at 0, 04. Determine a sine equation of the function, sketch the graph of the sinusoidal function. You can pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestion. Now, in a sinusoidal function, once we are given amplitude and the maximum and period, we can definitely write down the equation. Since we need to write the equation in the form of a sine function, let me give you a general equation first. So let's say f of x is equals to a times sine k x minus phase shift plus the axis let's say q amplitude a is given to us we say a is equals to 3 units now period is 720 so we know time period is 720 degrees that means we can find k which will be 360 degrees divided by 720 and that gives us a value of half right so k is half for us maximum at 0 4 that means the sine wave starts with a maximum at origin it is maximum of 4 so maximum equals to let me write the coordinate points they are more helpful but the value is 4 now since amplitude is 3 and maximum is 4 it means what is the axis can you tell me that axis q should be equal to how much it is difference of maximum and the amplitude right because amplitude is how much away the wave could be from the axis so it is the difference so it is 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 now that gives us all the values a we know is 3 for us k is half q is 1 for us but what is p now can you tell me how to find the phase shift for this wave now let me make a rough sketch first and then we'll figure out how to find the phase shift. I'm actually giving you time so that you can come out with the answer, right? So, so it is kind of like this. We already have, well anyway, we have to sketch the wave here. So let me sketch also and give you some time to answer this question. So I'm making a rough sketch here. Okay, now the wave is starting from the maximum it has amplitude of 3 x is 1 so let us say this is our unit 1 2 3 4 1 2 right so x is, is at 1 so let me draw a dotted line here at 1 okay and we have maximum of 3 amplitude is 3 so maximum will be somewhere here on this line is that okay and in fact it is right there starting point now since amplitude is 3 it will go 3 down also 1 2 and 3 let this be minus 2 for us okay so somewhere here so let me sketch a wave now starting from the maximum so we can say uh, well let me just sketch a wave here Okay, so that is one wave. Now, we know that the time period is 720. So, this maximum should be at 720, right? So, we can now write down all the, in, along the horizontal x-axis, let us say this is x in degrees, and this is f of x. So, we know this point is at 4. This is at 1 minus 2. 720 is the time period half of 720 is 360 right and these are at quarters correct these are at quarters this my drawing may not be that accurate but half of that is 180 and now you should understand that a sine wave actually starts a quarter of the cycle right before so it will be if we do like this quarter of the cycle so it should have started here at minus 180 that is one way of saying it or 
we could add 180 to 360 and consider that point. So both could be our solutions, right? So if I add 180 to this, I get 540. Is that okay? 540. So I can write two functions for the sine wave. One of the answers now for us is, let me use a different ink. So what we get here is that P could be equal to either minus 180, right? Or P could be equal to plus 540. We could consider both starting from here or starting from here. Is it okay? So, so I could write my function as A is 3 sin of K value is half X. So if I'm considering this part, then it is plus 180 and the x is, is at 1. I could also write the same equation as sine half 540, right? x minus 540. This is all in degrees plus the x is of 1, right? So that is how you can actually write down the equation and this is how you can graph it. I hope you understand and appreciate what we did to get absolutely right answer, right? It's also a good thing to write these points very clearly. So this point is 360 degrees and the y value is minus 2. Okay. Now I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.